Well, Eagle's Nest is, uh, is a program by which high school students are provided an opportunity to build a real aircraft and then after completion and inspection by the FAA, uh, an opportunity to take flight lessons and learn how to fly. We have projects going on in other states. This is the first in Texas. Uh, we've got projects going on in Florida, Indiana, Washington, oh, just a number of states. The program was actually inspired by a project begun at Vans Aircraft, the manufacturer of this kit. Next door to Vans Aircraft is a another 501c3 public charity called Airway Science for Kids. Being next door to Vans Aircraft, once they developed this particular model, they decided that, you know, maybe this would be a good match for these kids at Airway Science for Kids to build a real aircraft. Well, about uh, March, April last year, uh, Mr. Butcher approached me and said, uh, you're teaching aerospace. Have you ever thought about building an airplane? <clears throat> I'm a submarine sailor. I thought, eh, no, I've never thought about it. But, uh, but it sounded interesting. So I said, yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> and at that point, we started trying to get things organized. I'd never done anything like this before. We had plans. I can read plans. Uh, <laughs> so we built an airplane. There are 33 students in the Project Lead the Way aerospace engineering classes. And they're in two periods, second period and seventh period. And Mr. Elder, the instructor for the Project Lead the Way aerospace class, says, I can't choose. I said, well, it's really more than we've ever had work on a single airplane. But let's give it a try. With his guidance and help, plus having some great students to work with, uh, we have been able to not have to eliminate any of the students in the aerospace class and include them all. And, and they're actually working on a record schedule. No other project has completed their, their aircraft in as short a time as the students here at Clear Springs. So it's pretty special. Well, when I was a freshman last year, I just took some extra classes after school where I went in and just looked at this flight simulator and we Mr. Elder he told me about what we were doing this year and I said that would be so awesome I would like to do it and I did it. Um, I was in digital electronics with Mr. Elder last year and he told us that we were doing the project in aerospace this year so I decided to sign up for the class. The aircraft is a kit that is manufactured by Vans Aircraft in Oregon. They're the largest and oldest kit manufacturer in existence today. We use their model RV-12, which is a light sport. We select the RV-12, it comes in boxes, flat sheets. Doesn't look like flat sheets when you're looking at the airplane. And to date, the kids have got, uh, we've estimated about 10,400 rivets that they have installed to get to this point, they still have a couple of thousand more, but not a problem for them. They, they, they've gotten quite adept at it. But it comes in flat boxes with uh, very detailed instructions. They have, to, they have to manufacture a lot of parts from raw materials. A lot of the kit, of course, is already pre-drilled, so they don't have to do that. But it's still quite a building project. Flat boxes to this and 10,400 rivets. That's how it happens. We spent the first two or three weeks uh, learning about hand tools. We had to teach the students general tools first and then aircraft specialty tools, let them get some hands-on experience. So we didn't really open the boxes and begin building the kit until end of September and we'll be finished with this one before school's out. This one will fly to Oshkosh, Wisconsin in July. Uh, we started out by teaching them how to use the tools because most of them had never seen most of the tools that we use and 
our, our ideal was let the kids build it. We'll supervise. And so we, uh, we showed them how to use the tools, and they already had an idea how to read plans from their previous engineering classes. And so we got together and said, okay, we had a couple volunteers that, that chose to be the leaders in their particular class, and they assigned various tasks to the other students, and we went from there, and here we are. <laughs> well, the biggest thing I've learned is uh, that the, really the kids have a lot more capability than, than we normally think in terms of kids, because I know when I was a kid, I was not, I, I could use tools, uh, I knew what the tools were for, but I couldn't actually do much with them because I didn't know really how to read the plans, things like that, because they've been uh, already shown how to read plans, and, and then we showed them the nuances of an aircraft plan. Uh, they've been able to do a lot of things that, that I really wasn't sure that, that they could originally. And uh, so they've, they've shown me a lot. Uh. Actually, the, the treasurer of Friends of RV-1, Mr. Bruce Bohannon, who is a professional pilot, he's a test pilot, it will either be Bruce Bohannon who has said, I really want to be take the first flight, or it will be Hoot Gibson, a retired astronaut. Both have said, yeah, they're battling it between themselves who will make the first flight, but it will either be Bruce Bohannon or Hoot Gibson. Well, uh, our intention is to have it flying by about mid-April. We're going to then take it to uh, Wisconsin for the air show. Uh, after that, the plane itself will always belong to Eagle's Nest, and uh, which helps us considerably because we don't have to worry about insurance and things like that. Uh, it will be available there at one of the local airports, with very possibly uh, Clover Field in Pearland or, or possibly Ellington. And... Uh, so it will be available as, as a training uh, aircraft, which uh, it's perfectly suited for that, being a, a two-seater side-by-side. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for the, the student to see what's going on and to get some experience with uh, a, a small aircraft. This particular group is going to Oshkosh, Wisconsin in July in this airplane, well, we can only take one student, but the rest of the students will be there meeting up with other Eagle's Nest projects, and they will receive international recognition there at the largest air show in the world called Air Venture, sponsored by Experimental Aircraft Association, EAA. I think the biggest thing is they've gotten a sense of accomplishment because they've done something that nobody else has done. And, you know, most high school kids never get a, an opportunity like this. And to be able to say, well, yeah, I, I built this airplane. They're, they're pretty proud of that. A little scary at first, to be honest. Like, I didn't know what to expect. And at first I was completely overwhelmed because I didn't know how to read the plans to do anything and use a lot of the tools. I didn't know how to do that either. So I learned a lot. Definitely. I think the kids are, are getting so much out of it. They're, they're learning way more than, you know, I mean, in the past we taught them out of a book, you know, and, and you can read a book all about riding a bicycle, but until you get on it, you don't really get it. Now they understand how the airplane works, and I think that's, that's very important. And a lot of them have decided that they're going to go into the aerospace industry because of this project. And so I think if we can continue with this, we'll get a lot more people involved, and I think the students will benefit significantly from it. Well, I'm actually going to be an aeronautical engineer. And you can use, I mean, the engine over there? You can use that for your car. I mean, all the stuff you learn from the engine. I bet some of these people are going to be mechanics. 
not just aeronautical engineers. I have decided since since we took some of them flying uh, a couple months ago, I realized that I'm really not afraid of heights. Uh, I used to think so, but uh, I've decided I'm going to get a pilot's license and because of that I've started studying it and I think I'm learning a heck of a lot more about what I'm doing than, than I knew before. I think it will it's making me a better teacher in the process. The Clear Springs Eagle's Nest project will be on display at uh, Wings Over Houston in September. So come on out to Wings Over Houston and if you can't make that come on by the school anytime. Rewarding and I definitely recommend it if you have the opportunity to build a plane, do it.